I realize there's been a lot of discussion and controversy around this, but what I was referring to is the fact that this was a young man who volunteered to serve his country in uniform at a time of war. That is itself a very honorable thing. Uh, and but honor and distinction. Jim, really, I mean, this is a young man who, whose circumstances we are still going to learn about. Uh, he is, as all Americans, innocent until proven guilty. He's now being tried in the court of public opinion after having gone through an enormously traumatic uh, five years of captivity. His parents the same. I think what we need to care most about is his health and well-being and recovery. There'll be an opportunity, and the military has committed to review the circumstances of his capture. Uh, if there is uh, a consequence that results from that, that will, be, uh, that will be delivered. But in the meantime, let's remember this is a young man who volunteered to serve his country. Uh, he was taken as a prisoner of war. He suffered in captivity. He's now trying to begin the process of recovery. Let's let that happen. And, and then let, let's know the facts, including his side of the story, and then we can make a judgment.